Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Australian Report. Today we're going to look at all the ASX, but we're also going to have a look at stocks in the finance sector and stocks in the resource sector. Um, as I mentioned uh, once before, is that we're seeing resources pushed to the upside and controlling the ASX, and we're seeing banks move to the downside. However, within all of this, over the last uh, week or so, we were looking for resources to have a correction um, to the downside, a pullback, and we're also looking for banks to have a correction, a corrective rally to the upside. Um, and they are kind of finished now, uh, so we should see the other resources now push to the upside and also the banks push to the downside. So one of the main drivers that we've been looking at <clears throat> Uh, is the crude oil market. So we can expect, um, we've seen uh, Santos, Woodside and BPT sort of push to the upside and we'll see that continue here. So with the crude here, we can expect to see it at the uh, 72 uh, area here. This particular trend, this is a correction here, as you know, and we can expect this to continue to push uh, higher here. And obviously one of our main stocks in covering all of that is BHP. So with BHP here, um, we've been long in this. We went long here, but we got um, on the gap here. So we've held in here. We're expecting this is a pretty local type of correction here. We've seen this with Rio. Um, we've seen it with other stocks as well. Um, it's a corrective pattern and we're expecting new highs above here. So our target to the upside in the first instance is the 33 area here. Um, and we'll take some profit here and we'll watch the dance at that level there. And um, if we get support there, then we know we'll be pushing higher from that point. But we'll also be looking at the banks too, because um, as, these, as these markets are trending up, we'll be looking at the banks trending down and, and you know completing their structure uh, as well with this. And uh, also um, on the resource sector, one of the things that we've been looking at is uh, Bale, a re largest uh, uh, iron ore company, Brazilian, uh, on the New York desk here. And it's completed its way for, and its pattern to the upside is more uh, structured than um, than BHP and Rio. Um, so with this particular move uh, here on a two, this is a two-hour chart. So we're but we it's good in a way because it gives us an idea of where we are. We can see we got wave one ABC for two, then one and two, nice strong third wave, complicated fourth as a corrective wave, and now we're pushing up for wave five here or third, and we'll come back for the fourth and up for the fifth. So our target here is to the fifteen here. Uh, you can certainly go long in Vale uh, at this stage and the stop can go under here. This should not be breached under here because this is wave one here and wave two here. So a reasonable sort of ratio with all of this here for this market. But um, we've also got Rio, which we're not long in at the moment. But um, as I mentioned before, while banks have been doing their little correction and we'll expect that for Rio at this particular number here, um, it shouldn't doesn't need to spend a lot of time here because it's already done the hard yards over here for this you know particular uh, number in its first instance. So um, it's a bit old hat this number now, but it it is sticking there a little bit. So there may be um, I don't think so, but there may be one more leg down here as a as a wave C coming down here. But otherwise, um, we'll just be pushing straight up from here. OK, and one of the things to back this up, too, is that uh, you may recall that we talked about the iron ore price here. And I could see from the low here, I could see this is an A and a B and a C, a corrective pattern here and then down to complete the last structure here. So that's the low. And I can see that this is an impulse wave up here and a corrective wave in three here. So we can look at this as being... Well, when we first looked at it, we could have looked at it as wave one and then wave two here and wave three here, or we could look at this as an A and a B and a C wave here. So the move down through here, we had this little top here. So if that was breached here, that would be the first sign that we are on the uh, bullish side of this um, and we can go expect to go further up. Uh, 
um, in, in this market. So that's what we're looking at now with this. It would have been nice if this top here took this top out here. It hasn't done that, but it does appear we've got a bit of an impulse wave here. It, look, it's not confirmed that we're moving up because we do need to take that top out and then it destroys this as an A and a B and a C wave here. Okay, so a move above that will destroy that and turn this into a bullish pattern here. That's what we've been waiting for. But the simple fact is that we've taken this top out here was the first indication that we're on, on, a, on a slightly bullish pattern uh, moving up through here. So um, we wouldn't turn you know highly bullish unless we were sitting on the 500 here. We're still under this, but we can still expect it to be retested. Um, but it'll give us time uh, to the upside here to finish that uh, trend off that we're looking at with Rio and Vale and so on and so on. Uh, that five wave structure to the upside. So anyway, that's sort of all positive there. And you know, the thing is, is that, um, as I mentioned, while these markets are having their correction here, um, then we would see that with the bank. So the first one I'll bring across will be uh, CBA. CBA was a tricky one because <laughs> um, I'll just go over my the errors of my wave. Um, but from wave four here, I was looking at wave one and two and three. I was happy with that. And then I was looking for the correction here for wave four. And um, when we got to wave four here, I, I knew that there was something wrong because this was actually a five wave structure. But then we came all the way down here and I thought, well, maybe, you know, we've got wave five sitting here. Um, but then I figured that we only had three waves in here as well. So this would be an A wave, a B wave and a C wave into here. Um, and it was. And then then um, I thought that might have been the fourth wave coming up at this space here. But the correction just got more complicated. So then I put the wave four over here as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave over here. It's a rather large correction over here. It's the other markets, WBC and A and Z, and we'll look at those, have a, it's kind of simpler and more together in that space. So then, then I was looking for five waves up here, and I thought I had the five waves right at this point here, so we'll go short on the banks, but we made that one more little high in some of the banks, uh, and then it's, then it's rolled over. I was going to reshort it here on the Friday, um, but I thought um, we'll just chill and we'll... we'll um, uh, I can do that myself, but I can't take other folks with me on that because it can be um, it can be a bit much sometimes. But um, what we're going to do now is that um, uh, if if this is correct, I'll just go to the tick chart. Well, I'll just draw it here first. So this can be wave one down here, an A and a B and a C for wave two, and then down for three. So we're not going to do anything today. Um, even though that this may come down a bit further here, it may come down here a little bit further before having a correction up. But whichever way we go, we need to see that corrective rally here, and then we need a setup there. Okay, um, we know that um, the resources can push high. We're waiting for this correction to finish. Um, it looks like it's finished. Um, the only other thing that I need to be careful about is that. Um, we don't have wave five sitting on this low here and this is up for wave one and back for wave two here and then moving up and that's why I'm waiting for that uh, correction to play. Oops, wrong one, sorry. Waiting for um, that to play out here. So, so yeah, so what we, I can't draw on this side here and this may not be finished here, but what we want to see in this space here is a nice ABC correction. We can also, you know, if I've made a mistake, we can also go along across the top here later on. Um, but I know that I'll be able to get a better, better, better position for that as well. So I know what I'll do if, if I'm wrong, and I know what I'll do if I'm short. We will be trading this either long or short. I just need these highs and lows to basically play out into a point where we can move from. But the pressure would be bias would be to the downside and um, resources to the upside. So WBC is the same as well. This is just on the daily chart here. Uh, slightly different um, uh, move here, but the same thing here. The A wave, the B wave, and the C wave here. Almost an expanded flat. It would have to be an expanded flat. It would need to take that high out here. So it would need to move up there further. But on the intraday basis, I'm going to watch it the same as um, CBA. And we're not going to turn long bullish on this market unless we had 30 as the support here. So <clears throat> we're not looking for lows in. We're still looking for more downside here, and that's what we're looking for. And this is the same for A and Z as well here. So 
a bit of a tighter game in here, an A and a B and a C here. So this is a nice expanded flat here. Well, it's not perfect because normally the distance it takes the low out here, which is normally 23% and a bit, would normally take the same top out here. So it's a, uh, a bit of a trap, but that can be in here. And we also wouldn't turn we wouldn't turn bullish here either if um, we would need the 28 as support here. That's the main number in this region here. And um, 27 is important, 26 is important, but 2650, as I always say, is more important <clears throat> um, again in that instance. So I think that these, you know, we talked about these having their, their corrective patterns and, um, and the resources stalling. Uh, and then the trends resuming, and I think that's where we are with everything at the moment. So I've been light on the trades over the last few sessions, and the reason why is because I wanted these to finish um, as such. So all that said and done, you kind of got a good sort of sense of where they are. So we'll just go and have a look at the ASX now. So just working my way back here, crude here. So. <clears throat> When I look at this trend here, um, it started off slow here and then it started to pick speed up here. So really between wave one and two here and three here um, and four and five here, if this is correct, then really the the center of this trend is right through that bar there. That's the center of the trend. So we can really expect this side here, if we flipped it over to itself, we can put it over to this side here and we can expect a move up into the 6.5 here. There's important numbers along the way here, of course. It's 6,000 here is where the, the main number and this is where the correction has been hanging out. Um, uh, so also what I say is 6 is important, the same as 7 is important, but the 6.5 will be more important. It's the same thing here as game, but on a bigger scale. All that said here, the 62, this... This 62 would have been more important over here. It's not going to be so important over here, but in geometry terms, terms this 62 here, can be, because the trading level works as Fibonacci on the side here, we can also bring the percentages in and look at this as 61.8% here as well. So it won't have, a, it'll have an impact, but um, not as large as it had here. In this case, this that would have been the number we're looking for. Um, and of course, group one is important as well. Support on here would flip the move to the upside, failing to get support on here and dropping back down and finding resistance under this level here, the number two, the pivot within group one, group one is one, two, and three. Um, if this gets locked under here, then it'll be pulled back to this number here. But, um, and it's possible that this wave four is not finished and it's over here further, and we end up with a with an expanded flat here as an A wave and a B wave up here, taking this top out here, and then a big C wave down here. That's also possible as well. But seeing the strength in here is a good sign. Um, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll take it as we do bit by bit. Um, but in a nutshell here, we're looking for support on this 6,100 here, and let's just drill into this here to get some idea of where we are. So in this four hour chart here, um, looking at, um, it's kind of, you put those dotted dashed lines here, there's, there's some old highs from over here. So it's highly likely we're going to see you know, moves up into this space, and then this here as, um, you know, as a capturing this situation in here, you know, um, these are old highs, so we're going to see, um, you know, we're going to see corrective patterns within all of this, but after that's finished, then we'll see um, more of a move to uh, the upside coming into play uh, then, but those old highs, just be aware of those, because they will play out, um, uh, it's, yeah, it has a memory history. So um, just drilling in a little bit further here. So once again here, um, looking at these two little, this sort of space in here. So um, yeah, uh, so 6,100, we're basically having our correction across here. So we'll push up. I'm thinking that we'll see this as I think this only, when I look at this little move on the US markets, and, and I've also looked at it here on a bit, I think we're a little bit more move up to here, and then we can have a one and two in here uh, as such. And, and I don't know if we're gonna, this is the situation here. So there'll be five waves up to here, and then it can fold back into this space here, or we're going to have five waves up through here. 
that's what we need to uh, try and understand in, in our next moves here. So, yes, we can see that, I mean, each trend's got a beginning, middle and end, and um, this is pushed strongly here and then towards the end of the session it slowed down here. Um, but let's just drill into, so uh, yeah, uh, let's just go into the tip chart first so we can just examine this a little bit. See what I was looking at on the 20 tick chart here, just while I'm here, this is 100 ticks going into 20 ticks here. So I was thinking I can see we've got wave one in here and two in here uh, and then looking at this is three and four and one and two and three and four and five here for one and then all of this is the third wave here, corrective wave for a fourth wave here. This looks impulsive here so I'm thinking that we can go up here further, five waves up here to finish the one, do you know? Um, and then having the correction, so coming back to 100 ticks now. This is the same pattern as the S&P 500 which was pretty much driving this, so I can't draw on this side here, but I'm thinking that we're going to be pushing up into the 6,130 here. This is the top of group one, so 100, 10, 20, and 30 is group one. I don't think we're going to find support on this number, okay? Um, so we'll see a little bit further up and then what we need to look for is after we've got that wave one in play here, I'll just take it a tad higher, but you can adjust it. But then that brings roughly back down here, that brings this 50 and 61.8% retracement level into this space here. So, so we'll see some uh, A, B and C in here. I don't think we've got, oh yes, we've got those there. That would be great. So so we can look at that as wave three, four, oops, five up into this space, an A wave, B wave and possible all the way back down into this that should just come back to the A, they should come back to wave four there. That can come back up to that space. And that will be that. I'll just put the, pop these over here somewhere, not that it matters too much. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's what we're looking at. This doesn't have to come all the way down to the 61.8%. It may just come back down to the 6,100 area here, but we do need to see that ABC correction. And then we can also look to go long you know, once we've got that in play, we've got an A and a B and a C, then we can go long over here. Once it matures and we've got a top to work with, we've got supports to work with, um, getting in late in the trend here is, is just really a sucker's play. So, you know, what you see is, is not what you get. It's different from the, from the real world. You get the opposite of what you're looking at here. Um, so... There is different ways to count this little trend to the upside uh, here as well, but um, I've lined it up with the S&P 500 uh, little move up, so um, we shouldn't be too far off it uh, here. Alrighty, um, bit of a long video. I just wanted to sort of start with Monday, sort of sizing everything up and bring everything into play, and let's see how it unfolds. Let's see um, if we can get some trades out of this. So we'll be looking to be short in finance stocks and long in... Uh, resource stocks and <clears throat> crude will be the strongest mover in those. Alrighty, cheers.